As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win. And Freeman lost the football. He'll have a first down past the 40. Does the big boy have the juice? 20. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Redskins 15. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on. And he gets in, touchdown Atlanta. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Slings this. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin. An 80-yard touchdown, and the Redskins have once again taken the lead. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. And what did we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? Does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Freeman. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now Freeman, he's been busy today. He's got the first down and more past midfield. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to regain the lead. 
He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. On second and very short, Haskins. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it third and one. This is Thompson, and he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. He needed a yard. That's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Now Haskins, third and long. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Haskins will throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Haskins now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. We got four. Back to the ground, Peterson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Now it's Haskins. Open man is Quinn, able to connect. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. He's going to launch this thing. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Washington! Paul Richardson, 
43 yards as they have taken the lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away that's fielded in the end zone and he'll elect not to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your... And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 18. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Freeman here to begin the drive. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 76 yards as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them. To... And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Throwing now is Haskins. This one caught by Davis. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now it's Haskins. 
And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Adrian Claiborne in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Now a desperation. And got his man complete. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. Back to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Peterson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Back to throw. And it's caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin with eight seconds remaining. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Hopkins with the extra point, and it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. Let's see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. This is Freeman, and an alley to run. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 